everybody. This is Praxis, and it's the end of another day. I got here this morning and was fixing those uh, the plumbness problems I was having with those posts, as you recall, at the end of the day, uh, day yesterday. I was kind of frustrated with some of the fact that some of the posts had gotten knocked out of plumb. Came in this morning, pulled the nails that I needed to, got them straight where they needed to be, sunk the nails back in, and, uh, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. I was just frustrated at the end of the day yesterday. As soon as I finished with that, I continued the, uh, uh, the sill plate along to about here, uh, you know, going along this whole area. This surface here is what I need to have uh, with a, a contiguous sill plate, and that's going to uh, have a, a little wall here, and it's going to receive the, uh, the rafters. As you can see, my dad came today, and he got all of those uh, joist hangers. Uh, there's one every two feet, give or take, uh, up there. I, th there's a systematic plan up there, but, uh, you know, a couple of them, it's a little bit wider or a little bit shorter. Uh, uh, we got th this whole side done. Uh, my dad got about half the other side uh, done. Uh, the electrician also showed up today, and he was able to do all the rough work that he needs on the top and the middle floor. He did note there was one mistake that uh, that I had made that I, uh, you know, wish I hadn't made it, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, I had asked him if it was okay to use the regular outlet boxes that you might use for a switch or a, um, a power uh, socket or something like receptacles, if it was okay for me to use those for uh, wall lights. And uh, he said, yes, that's fine. Uh, we were referring to sconces that were off the wall. And I uh, inappropriately uh, extrapolated from that that it's also okay to use those for lights that are attached to a ceiling, and it's not. You have to use these larger octagonal boxes, and the reason for that is that someday somebody might want to hang a fan from that area and you need to make them a little bit more robust. So there are there are 11 that I need to pull the boxes on and cut it open a little more. I mean that's a pain in the butt. It's obviously more work than if I didn't have to do any of that but you know as things go I feel like we did pretty well. You know the, just a couple small modifications to a few of those and then we're good to go with him. He's going to be back tomorrow and we're going to work on that together. So far things with this electrician are going really great. It seems like everybody named Jeff has worked out really well on, the, on this project. The electrician's named Jeff. The person that did the uh, concrete, uh, concrete walls is named Jeff. If you're named Jeff, you know, things seem to go really well when people hire, hire you. Uh, in, in terms of what I was doing today, uh, like I said, I, I kind of fi fixed up some of that stuff. And I'm working on this, which is a box beam. It's not attached down. This is uh, going to be a header. And it, this is going to be placed on top of some 18-inch uh, posts, uh, studs, they're going to be going across this wall. So that, uh, that's going to bring this wall up 18 inches. This is going to rest on top of this, uh, on top of those studs. And then uh, this box beam here is going to receive the load from all of the, uh, the uh, roof joists uh, as, they, as they come down over here. Uh, so it's my goal tomorrow to kind of get this done for this side, this box beam. I'm kind of building it as I go, building it and then sliding it out. I'm going to do another box beam for the other side, and hopefully I'll be able to get uh, two corner posts in at either end. I'll just take the box beam, move it off to the side. I'll get the, uh, the two corner posts in, and then the day after tomorrow, my dad should be back, and the two of us can get these guys up. And we should be finishing up the, uh, the rough electrical work as well at that point, and uh, you know, then we can get that rough electrical inspection. So a lot of stuff happened today. Things are going well. A few, few mistakes, nothing we can't recover from. Uh, I do have some news. I'm going to be sharing it with you probably tomorrow about the radon situation. Uh, it's horrible. I don't mean the situation itself. I mean what's causing the situation is horrible. It's ironic. It's... I'll share that with you tomorrow. It's awful. Awful, awful. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.